with that, parents are going to get involved with transferring and, and picking colleges and whatnot. And you have been very strong proponent about parents' behavior for years. Uh, why don't you tell me how that can help or hinder a kid's uh, college chances? Yeah, if, if, if you're in college, I don't want to hear from your parents. I just don't. I mean, I, you know, even in high school, I have, you know, I weed them out. You know, if I have a kid that, you know, I'll tell you this. I just made a post about this recently, but the worst age is 10U. It's, it's amazing how bad parents are at the 10 U level with a 10 year old. They can barely make a layup and can dribble with their offhand. But parents are in the stands just screaming. But I always tell parents just stay out of the way, you know, encourage your child, uh, support your child, um, listen to them, um, you know, uh, give them a, a place to vent maybe, but don't, don't get involved. Don't, don't try and coach them. Um, now there's exceptions of course, but I know a lot of college coaches that have kids. Uh, they don't coach their kids. You know, they, they let the coach do their job. Uh, they, they know what it's like to be in that environment. So, you know, parents can cause a lot more damage than good. You know, if I'm recruiting a kid, which I did for five years, and, I, and, I'm, and his dad is, or mom or grandparents or whatever is overly involved and, and playing like a parent agent, I just move on. You know, unless the kid is a LeBron freak type player, even then it's just like, man, this is going to be a headache for three years. It's not worth it. It ruins team chemistry. The kids won't like them. I have to answer to this parent if, my, if I take him out one time. You know, parents do more harm than good in most situations. Uh, we don't want to hear from the parents. I don't care about what a parent thinks of this child. Obviously, they're biased. Uh, every, every parent, period, uh, will be biased towards their child. It's human nature. So I don't know too many parents are going to say, yeah, my son's not very good. You know, but they, some, you know, the, the former players who are parents would say, you know, my son's good, but he's not a division one talent. He's, he's more. And I've seen that, you know, if you watch that Steph Curry thing, I think it's E60 on, on, uh, on YouTube. It's a fantastic video, but even Steph Curry's dad said something that was kind of funny when someone said, you know, I think your son's really pretty good. I think he's going to make it to the next level. And his dad's quote was like, yeah, he might play overseas for a couple of years, you know? So that's a guy who kind of gets it. So when, when his son blew up, I don't think he even anticipated that, but, um, Parents involved in the transfer stuff and the portal and calling coaches usually ends up in being a disaster. There's exceptions, of course, but uh, usually a coach does not want to hear from a parent at the next level.